Hi everyone, this is Alexandra Brintrup from the University of Cambridge's Engineering Department. I'll be talking to you today about a feasibility study funded by the Connected Everything Network, entitled Agent Chat. The project is in collaboration with the Value Chain Labs, which is a logistics service provider company based in London, and Fetch AI, a Cambridge-based startup company that specializes in agent-based technology. Our study will be starting in September and will last for a year. So this presentation consists of our current thoughts and plans for investigation. The primary motivation for our project is sustainability. As many of you probably are aware, the UK is committed to the net zero target for greenhouse gas emissions by the year 2050. We need to find ways to embrace this target and incorporate it in our daily lives. Logistics is one such activity that impacts all of us. Everything you have in your home has in some way been delivered from somewhere to be with you. Most of that stuff is carried with what we call heavy goods vehicles, HEVs, which account for 5% of the UK's total greenhouse gas emissions. HEVs are the hardest types of vehicles to decarbonize due to their power requirements. Freight capacity in the UK and Europe is significantly underutilized, leading to higher costs, environmental damage and congestion. Only 63% of journeys carry useful load, and average vehicle utilization remains under 60% by weight or volume. 29% of distance is travelled empty. What we would like to investigate is collaboration in logistics. Collaboration involves the sharing of truck capacity between one or more sending parties to receiving destinations. Both academic and industry research estimates that freight collaboration can improve vehicle fill, remove unproductive journeys with a potential of 20% cost savings and 25% of carbon dioxide reduction for collaborative shipments. Now take a look at the picture on the right. The left-hand side of this picture shows a non-collaborative logistics case, where three companies, depicted in red, blue and green, work in isolation. A square here is a depot, where the goods are stored at the beginning of the problem. The stars are the nodes which the company must deliver to. Each truck has a certain capacity here. On the right-hand side, you see the collaborative case. Since the red company has to deliver items nearby where blue also needs to deliver to, it would make sense that the red could also satisfy these orders if it helps reduce the overall system cost. Then we can share the gains in a fair manner. There have been many studies that show cost savings of about 20 to 30 percent, with the first notable paper being from Creason in the year 2007. Suppliers will reduce transportation costs, trucks will utilize their trucks more and will earn more. Retailers would see reduced congestion and of course the biggest winner is the environment. So why is it not happening? Truck co-loading is a tricky problem. Co-located or close suppliers would not know whether they are sending items to similar locations at similar times. Somebody needs to tell them. For retailers to tell them, orchestrating co-loading involves transactional costs. The benefits of tracking co-loading may not necessarily outweigh the costs of manual co-loading orchestration for them. Logistics providers could be a mediator, but then suppliers would need to use the same logistics providers, and that creates a lockdown effect, which is not suitable to the needs of sporadic journeys or short-term contracts. There may be a third-party mediator. That mediator could orchestrate and tell suppliers where to deliver items at what times. But then, for this to work, multiple suppliers will need to sign up and pay for it, which they may not want to do. And crucially, optimization algorithms are not well developed for this type of problem. Most approaches oversimplify these problems and multiple survey papers are recommending that we consider richer, more real-world vehicle routing problems. The core idea of our feasibility study is the automation of this co-loading process through agent-based systems. 
Software agents are goal-seeking computational entities. The field of computer science often conceptualizes the field of AI with intelligent agents, which are computational programs that mimic and then act on behalf of a human user. Intelligent agents sense and perceive the environment they are in. They take actions to maximize the probability of achieving their goals. And they can use various tools to do so, including the ability to learn from data, for example, using machine learning, develop reasoning, for example, using logic, and communicate and negotiate with other agents. They can evolve to adapt to changing circumstances and find solutions through search and optimization algorithms. Each of these abilities have formed specialized AI subfields with different technical considerations. So agents are a great encapsulation mechanism to leverage what AI has to offer today to the collaborative logistics problem and automate it. In our case, agent chat will involve two key aspects. First is a distributed, decentralized multi-agent system to automate co-loading. And second is a learning algorithm to minimize the optimization burden by helping agents to learn from past problems. Just to note that multi-agent systems is not to be confused with multi-agent simulation. In this case, we are intending that our intelligent agents do real-life actions through deployment on web-based systems. The agent-based system may involve multiple architectural options, each of which will give different outcomes in terms of scalability and optimality, which constitutes the main research question in this project. Now let's look at this one. Here we have a centralized system. We have two main categories of agents. First of those is the supply chain representative agents here. They represent entities that are involved in logistics, such as suppliers, retailers, and logistics service providers. The second category involves learning agents for dispatching delivery tasks and finding co-loading opportunities. Here, dispatchers may receive incoming delivery tasks from suppliers and then assign a co-loading decision maker agent based on salient features and probabilities, sorry, properties of the problem, such as the destination of the delivery. For example, the dispatcher agent may assign all delivery tasks to London or Greater London to a co-loading decision maker agent. In this way, we, have, we will have clusters of groups where we have individual optimization problems. This is a centralized approach that matches delivery tasks with logistics providers. The optimization problem will involve a trade-off between minimum overall cost of delivery with minimum distance traveled. Now, would the system be flexible enough to accommodate changing individual preferences of agents or scalable enough to accommodate large dynamically changing optimization problems? An alternative approach could involve decentralization. Here, supply chain agents publish tasks to a blackboard. They then pick a collaborator to form a coalition, and then together they will task a logistics agent with suitable capacity. However, here supply chain agents need to publish information on a common blackboard, which they may not like to do due to confidentiality issues. Details will also be important here. If there are multiple supply chain agents with complementary loads, who would the agents pick? Can they pick more than one agent? Perhaps they can pick only two, and then if the logistics agent notices additional capacity, it can prompt a further coalition to form. As this is a distributed approach, supplier matches may not be optimal. However, it's more scalable and it may be a more flexible system. Another key issue here is that the opinion of logistic providers will be left out. Trucks may not have capacity by the time agents reach them. An iteration over this could involve giving logistics agents an optimization task, where they also have a choice over which pairings they will choose based on their own goals. This may be a good trade-off between optimality and scalability. So our job in the next few months will be to test these various scenarios and more in terms of total and individual cost reductions, capacity utilization, and the reduction of total carbon on the roads. 
Let me talk to you a little bit about the technology used for the multi-agent platform. The agent system is open source and complies with FIPA protocols. The platform offers blockchain support for transactions between agents, which we won't be using at this stage, but may be useful in the future. Devices can also be connected to the system. There's an open economy framework which hosts all the agents and allows them to find, to each, find each other and talk to each other. The platform has Edge as its own development language and offers Python and JavaScript APIs. For this project, on the agent front, our current explorations involve finding out which agent organizations would be suitable for the freight co-loading problem, whether such a system would be scalable to host a large number of agents and messages, and what sorts of considerations need to be taken into account for industrial adoption. As we have seen from our different thought experiments, that there are various trade-offs involved between agent architectures and scalability in this problem. A question we would like to explore further in the future is whether we can change architectures dynamically over time, depending on the constraints that we are facing in the problem. Let me talk you through a little bit about the optimization problem we are facing here. I mentioned several different objectives. Suppliers want to reduce costs. Trucks want to increase utility. Sharing a truck will decrease fuel toss costs by the truck, and some of those savings will be passed on to the supplier. On the whole, we want to reduce total distance traveled subject to some constraints. Matching a supplier to another one involves tricky constraints. Pellets can come in all shapes and sizes, and more importantly, different densities. A pellet of water is very dense, but a pellet of crisps is very light, for example. Therefore, there's a multi-objective optimization problem of maximizing both the weight limit and the volume available in the truck. Furthermore, because trucks are rear-loaded, the order in which we load and unload the pallets in and out of the truck really matters. Further, we cannot put heavy goods on top of light goods, for example, and we cannot put food with contaminants together. Frozen items need to go with frozen items and ambient items with ambient items. These kinds of problem settings haven't really been properly investigated in literature. One problem that has also not been tackled by prior literature is the example of less than truckload transportation of pallets of goods. The closest that previous papers have come to was studying less than truckload transportation of parcels, where because the parcels are so small, they take up negligible volume, therefore problems have assumed that the truck has infinite capacity. In order for us to tackle this problem, two separate bits of literature needs to come together. So for us to attack this problem, two separate bits of literature need to come together. First of these is the container loading problem, which tries to maximize the load in a vehicle subject to certain constraints, and the vehicle routing problem, which minimizes total distance traveled again subject to some constraints, such as the vehicle being at a certain location in a certain time window. Both of these problems are NP-hard, and they will need to come together in order to address a problem which we call vehicle routing with loading constraints. In terms of an optimization vehicle for this problem, we will be looking into reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning works with reward functions based on states that an agent has been given at a certain task. While it has seen tremendous success in games, it hasn't really been applied to industrial domains yet. Reinforcement learning will be inherently suitable to the decentralized problem at hand. So in summary, we are proposing and testing the feasibility of a new approach to collaborative logistics in this exciting new project. Key novelties will include an exploration of trade-offs involved in various different agent system architectures, formulation of the vehicle routing problem with loading constraints, and applying cooperative reinforcement learning based multi-agent systems in a real life setting. Get in touch with us if you're interested and thank you very much for listening to our presentation.